Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So it's been a really long time that I've been here with you today. It's been um, several weeks since I've done the energy forecast and also several weeks since I've done the weekly oracle card guidance. And so today I want to do the energy forecast and I also want to do, I want to do a general energy forecast and then I want to do the oracle card reading as well. And so we're going to be using um, the animal, the African animal messages. All right, so let's get started. Um, uh, firstly, I want to apologize, actually, b before we get started for not being more there as uh, and not being more regular with these videos. It's just been a really uh, difficult time and I've needed to actually be more there for myself and um, and, you know, just coping with work and a lot of different challenges have has um, has not left me with much time to for other things. And uh, YouTube is is not, you know, it's like an, really an extracurricular thing. It's not something that's a part of my main job. And so unfortunately, uh, when I have restricted time, then YouTube suffers, uh, the videos suffer. So I know I've made many promises in the past and I haven't actually uh, been able to fulfill them. Um, but I, I have not forgotten any of the promises that I've made. It's just that I'm not able to do it within the time frames that I've promised. So hopefully now um, we'll see whether the next few weeks allow me to be able to give more and offer more and also to be able to set up the other um, accounts, which I, I've also promised, which will allow me to talk about political masters, hopefully without being censored from a psychic point of view, of course. Um, so just to talk about the energy as we've had it, it's like the world is kind of experiencing some kind of huge diarrhea. It's like the world, it does a lot of, I don't know if you've had it in your life, but there might have been a lot of leaks, a lot of um, repairs needed as far as sinks or um, bathrooms, toilets, um, kitchen sinks with plumbing a lot of plumbing issues need to be taken care of and that goes for the body as well you might there might be people with having uh, some kind of diarrhea or vomiting or, um, problems with the stomach uh, problems with with things like cysts um, where there's too much of water somewhere and water needing to to burst through or there's a leakage of water so we are in a time where we, you might find that there's been um, there's an imbalance of water in the body, okay? And I think that uh, this has something to do with where Venus's position has been in the sky. So I'm not an astrologer, so I, I won't go into into that as far as uh, uh, I won't I won't go into detail with the astrology. I think there are much better. Oh, there are astrologers out there who could explain it all a lot better. But the way I pick up on it on a psychic level is that there's a cleansing going on in the world. And this cleansing is kind of finding a way out and it's needing to burst out. And because um, some structures uh, or organizations or bodies are not able to allow that flow allow that expulsion to take place naturally then there will be bursts there will be leaks there will be this kind of thing where there'll be and it's and there's a need to release there's a need to push forth and break free and just find it a way out and there's been much of a need to do that emotionally um, and much of a need to do that for a very, very long time, not just the last two years or so with regard to the pandemic, but also for people to, to be able to break through a certain wall, an invisible wall, and come through the other side and really feel that they've made a difference, really feel like they've they've gotten, they've made some kind of headway, some kind of progress. And um, if any of that resonates with you, then you'll understand that the, these last months, these last, I would say, three to four months, um, uh, has been all about that. And as we go ahead, well, what is there to come? Well, I think that um, well, there'll be more of this. There'll be more of this kind of leakages about this breaking free. 
and this need to to just expel uh, this expulsion this need to to push forth um to just kind of like like floods you know like dams to to break and uh you'll find more of that you'll find uh that there will come an easing of that as well. You might find that these symptoms, as it were, uh, whether it's for your work or your your family life or, or your home or your body, uh, however it's impacting you, is um, is actually going to be not stopping. It's not going to stop like after a short while. It's not like ah oh, this has happened and that's happened. And let's it, it's going to stop now. It's going to kind of go on for a while, and you're going to find that. Uh, you know, in a few months from now, you're still going to be having some of these difficulties, and uh, it's going to be. Or oh, if in people's life, not everyone's life, it will appear as a difficulty. It could be that it's just a cleansing, and that this comes about, and you're observing it, and you go about observing it, and that's just it's bringing some some goodness in your life at the end of the day. But um, so not everyone's going to experience it as a challenge. It's gonna be. It's not gonna be demanding for everyone. It might actually work quite fine for you, and you might not be quite really disturbed by the situation at all. It might be something that will uh, will actually just be in your life, and will you will go through it and continue through it, and it won't be a huge deal for you. But for others, it could be a huge deal. For the world, the energy in which it's impacting us, it would be a huge deal. It could be a huge deal. So that's one of the energies that we're working with at the moment. So I've talked about water and how leakages may occur. But the other uh, form of expulsion that could occur is through air. Okay, So you might have bur pipes bursting um, that contain chemicals or contain some kind of vapors. Um, you might find that you're more bloated, or you more uh, you need to belch more often than you usually do. You might find that there's just generally uh, something with more gases also being expelled into the air. So it's not just liquids; it's also with uh, other um, forms of 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 expulsion. That's there's other forms of of energy coming out at this moment but um the second point i want to make was that there's this heaviness in the energy so usually around january february march it's like the world the world goes through different kind of energy so the southern hemisphere you'll have because of the seasons you'll have a different energy so you'll have a very vibrant energy and you'll have things really moving ahead and then as you get to march people are just rearing to go and getting things going moving ahead and in the northern hemisphere you'll find that people you know there is there's a slow start to the year but by march the energy is rearing to go there's this aries energy and it's just on its way but this year what we have right now is we have a kind of energy where the the Aries energy is being dampened or subdued by a by a, a kind of Venus energy of a kind of it's dragging it's it down it's it's actually it's heavier there's a kind of resistance to just moving ahead and getting things done and and moving forward so there might be you might encounter procrastination you might encounter a lot of delays you might encounter people not being able to to keep to their promises like me <laughs> unfortunately but um you might find that things are not able to move ahead as they usually do in that smooth manner that it could be and you might find that if you do certain applications or you're trying to get something repaired that it will take a long long time to do so much more so than it normally would and so this is um, another thing it's like the energy as it is since the end of last year till now and it will continue to be so until after the equinox and in the beginning of April uh, you'll find that there's it almost feels like a very long mercury retrograde it's like a never-ending mercury retrograde things are just not working out in the way that you expected to or you wanted to it's just not as smooth sailing as it needs to be 
and uh, there's also quite a lot of surprises. There's quite a lot of uh, things happening which surprise you, things that movement in a certain areas that haven't been able to move until now. So for some people, a few where they've been stuck in a particular area, they will find that they're moving ahead very fast, almost uncontrollably at this moment, and they aren't able to stop themselves, whereas they've been very restrained in the past. And uh, I think you'll see this in the world events as well. You'll see this uh, in some people. You'll see this perhaps in yourself as well. There's also that going on. So there's it could be those who are just stuck and not able to get anything moving. And there could be those who are moving at such an incredible rate that it's actually dangerous. Uh, at you know the consequences of it are going to be quite alarming. So there's all of that energy. But I think that if you are feeling this kind of heaviness, this inability to push forth to move ahead as you usually do then um then try to just understand that this is part of the energy one of the physical ways in which this manifests in human beings bodies is that they may be more blood clots they may be more embol embolisms uh they may be more uh, narrowing of arteries etc uh, there's a kind of energy like kind of trying to push forth but you're not able to so there's a sluggishness that one might experience as a result of it and an impatience a frustration that comes from it because you're not able to move ahead as you usually would so that is um, yeah the other energy that accompanies this uh, is there good that comes out of this well Definitely, there's definitely good that's coming out of this. It's just that right now, it's going to be difficult to see what the good is. The one way in which good comes out of this is that there's a need to regroup. There's a need to replan, to reschedule, to rework things. And this is a moment where things are just kind of stopping and you need to revisit and uh, recuperate perhaps you need to recuperate it's all the re's you know to revitalize recuperate revisit re reorganize redo perhaps so this is a period of that as i said it's like a very extended mercury retrograde but it's not a bad thing because ultimately the work and the foundations laid now are going to contribute to the next two to three years. And this energy for the next two to three years is going to be your life. It's going to be how you live. So whatever foundation you lay down now is going to impact you in two to three years from now. So if you are rushing through things, if you're not giving it its due time, then you're going to be facing the consequences later on in two to three years. So the best thing to do is just to Take care of what needs to be taken care of and do it diligently and do it in, a, in thoroughly. Take care of it thoroughly. And this goes to um, medical ailments as well as to administrative matters as well as to whatever renovations or anything like that that you need to take care of uh, or, or repairs that need to be taken care of. Okay, so anyhow, I'm going to leave it there with regard to the energy forecast. I just want to talk about it generally um just to acknowledge what's been going on there is a lot more to this but right now i don't quite have the energy to continue talking about it but i will try to do um another energy forecast uh either on the full moon or between the full moon and the new moon and we'll discuss it further uh and um let me know if you want to do a live stream and we could talk about it you could send me your questions and we could i could answer you some questions and if i do something like that it will probably be on Sunday evening uh, next week. So do let me know if you're interested in something like this and we can do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and begin the Oracle card guidance. 